Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited. This is Confessions of a Tired House, episode four, and there's a couple of things going on in this episode. We are going to dive in to my first 15 minute real time, uh, declutter, and that is going to be the office that actually becomes a catch all for everything. Um, I got to get this office back in order. And I'm also during this episode going to tell you my lipedema story and my what how it has affected me. A lot of you have asked about it in episode two. Y'all ask for me to give you more information on that. And I have sat down many, many times to try to bring myself to my thoughts and what I wanted to share with you and every single time. Every single time I got distracted and I couldn't really put how I felt in words. So I decided that today we're going to do the 15 minutes of decluttering my office and cleaning it out along with my story. So I'm going to talk to you while I am decluttering. So anyway, I appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed and liked my channel. And I just encourage you, if you like the content that I'm putting out, it helps me tremendously. If you will subscribe, like, hit the little bell button, all the things, all the things. Um, and I want to encourage you to come along with me on this journey as I declutter and reset our house in one year. Okay, get ready. Grab you something to drink. I'm hydrating myself. And come along with me for the next 15 minutes as I declutter my office and tell you my lipedema story. So here we go. Ready, set, Go, 15 minutes to declutter my office. 15 minutes on the timer, and I really hope that's not distracting. I need to buy me one of those little, one of those little um, egg timers that you can roll up and it goes off. But anyway, this is what we have in for now. I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm just going to work on this area right here for now and try to get it all cleaned up. I've got... Uh, normally we'd start with trash, but in this office, I've got craft cottage stuff. I have got all three of our business stuff. I've got um, uh, some heat press stuff that needs to go to the craft cottage, but it can't yet because all the, the craft cottage doesn't have internet, so I have to use it over here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through this stuff as we talk today. And um, I tell you my lipedema story. Okay. First of all, let me say that um, my house is tired because I am tired uh, because I did not know that pretty much my whole entire life I have had a condition called lipedema, which is a disease of the connective tissues and your my fat uh my fat cells do not grow properly they actually are fibrotic and but they are actually fibrosis and it causes the bottom half of my body to be disproportionate to the top half of my body um, I always thought growing up that I had an hourglass figure, which technically I do because my shoulders and my hips are perfectly aligned, but my, um, my waistline is super, super tiny. Well, the difference is <laughs> this, this is my hips and my thighs all the way down to my knees has always been, um, bigger. And there is no amount of exercise that you can do in order to lose the lipedema fat on my body. So I have to, I have to adjust my lifestyle. I have to, it, 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 and the thing is about with lipedema, it is very um, fatigued. <laughs> I mean, it causes it causes the bottom half of my body to be 
heavier uh and it feels heavier it swells up um in in most conditions it just kind of swells up uh lots of uh swelling lots of hard tissues in my legs lots of fatigue like lo lots of um pain it's very it, it is a painful condition that um again i didn't know i had and so last year last summer i was watching a video um thank you allison jacobs for being so very transparent in your lipedema story so um it, i was watching a a video and she was talking about the fact that she has lipedema well I mean, out of true concern, because I had never heard of it, I went down this rabbit hole of research that was um, very eye-opening for me, extremely, actually, eye-opening for me, and um, I called my mom, and I, who is an RN, and I asked her if she had ever heard of this, and she had. Um, it's not a widely known disease. It was discovered in 1946, but it's not, it, it's not, um, it's not widely known. Most of the medical industry does not even, doesn't know about it. And that's what is so hard whenever you go to the doctor for something and they tell you, yes, I'm digging in the trash of something I just threw away that I don't need to throw away. Um, most you go to the doctor and they tell you oh there's nothing wrong with you you just need to lose weight well lipedema bodies do not uh lose weight they do not the the fat cells that are lipidemic do not um respond to to weight loss any type of weight loss so um the only thing, there is no cure for this. There is no uh, pills you can take or whatever. Uh, but the one thing that can be done for it is it can be um, liposuction. And it's not, it's not a normal technical, just go to the doctor and have liposuction. It is a water-assisted liposuction. And... Um, because of that, it, that is the only thing. And, and it's not really a guarantee even at that rate because it may not, um, it may come back. It, it, it may come back. So I am choosing for me personally to not have the um, liposuction done, the surgeries done. I instead, there are certain things that I am doing to help my condition and one of those is i changed the way i'm eating my which i was already eating a fairly decent fairly decent healthy diet um but i started eating a an anti-inflammatory diet i've cut sugar out um i started wearing compression wear and that's another thing that actually helps with the condition is um compression garments uh probably i, I don't have them on today i don't have my leggings on today but i would say probably 90 percent of the time i do wear compression garments uh for that very reason um, I also rebound, which I was doing that before, and little did I know when I was on my health journey and I had, um, lost a lot of weight, I did, I was rebounding a tra mini trampoline, and I didn't realize that that was, um, helping my condition, I, I, to, uh, of a condition I didn't even know I had, so, oh, look. My sister made me this when I was a little girl. Look how cute. She hand painted it. It's nasty looking. And it was done in 1976. Right there. 
my sister did that for me. So anyway, this is just a box. This is this box fell from the top shelf of my closet here, and this has things in it, uh, memories and stuff, uh, little things, little little dress. My daughter um, came. Well, she didn't come home from the hospital in that, but my great aunt hand crocheted that. This box goes in the top of the closet up there because this is stuff that needs to. I mean, I don't want to get rid of. So I'm putting that over here to the side. Okay, so what else am I doing for my lipedema? Compression garments. I rebound um, on the trampoline 15 to 20 minutes a day. I have a um, compression pump that actually, it's air and it, com it, it compresses my legs and it helps pump the lymphatic system um because a lot of it is the lymphatic system is um uh, clogged up and so getting that juices if you will flowing really does help um and that is another thing that i'm doing is the compression Thing. I do dry brushing on my skin um, right before I go take a shower. I do that. Uh, what else do I do? It. I mean, really, honestly, I have discovered that it's a full-time job. It is a full-time job trying to um, manage myself. And if I don't manage myself and take care of my body then i get very tired and very fatigued well over the last couple of years i have hit menopause and during that time frame it, it's and, and lipedema is a progressive disease so it, it progresses during women and it and sad part is i'm sorry i'm sorry about this ladies but it's it's predominantly a, a women's issue. Uh, very, very, very few men have it. And I heard Dr. Ken Berry say the other day that about 18 million women have uh, lipedema. And so it progresses when the horm uh, female hormones, um, like puberty, Pregnancies, menopause, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, a um, couple years ago, I hit menopause, and again, I did not know I had lipedema, and my body was progressing. I didn't know I had it. So, I was very, very tired, and during this period, I was trying to get the craft cottage next door that will house my business and um, get it up and going. I was also running our window cleaning company and working in our window cleaning company along with um, keeping two of our grandchildren who were just born. Um, and I was keeping them uh, two days a week. So I was extremely busy and this house went to pot. I mean, it went to pot. Um, I, I, no, mainly because I didn't feel good. I just did not. I couldn't find the strength and I couldn't find the energy level to do anything um, beyond survive. I had hit survival mode. So I said all that to say this. I am still in a progressive state. I'm still, I can still feel the fluctuations of that. Um, but I am able to handle it on this level. I, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I'm doing with this stuff um, and what this stuff is. Okay, so I'm able to do everything that I just said I was doing and keep all of the stuff at bay, if you will. Okay, so, and normally in a thing, I would be taking all this stuff out of my office, but I'm not going to right now while I'm talking to y'all in this real time. 
because I'll take it out in just a minute. I'm working on this area and I don't want to, to, to leave. Okay, so uh, I'm able to, with my diet, with my exercise, with all the things that I am doing, to keep it at bay. I do have my days that I don't feel good. I do have my days that um, I can I can have flare-ups at the drop of a hat, uh, which are no fun whatsoever. Um, so there's all the things. There's all the things that go along with it. And so whenever I, I was looking around, and I just, I don't like a cluttered house. I don't like all the things just being everywhere. And I knew I had to do something. And so that's the reason I started this journey to reset our life one in one year. And I can do it if I have to 15 minutes at a time. I've almost got this section right here cleaned. This stuff right here, we started a remodel on our bathroom, which is another episode to come. So I can't wait to share that with y'all. Uh, we started a remodel and <laughs> this tub is stuff out of our bathroom cabinet that I need to um, organize and go through and trash some of it. Uh, some of it needs to go back in the bathroom. But for now, I'm taking off, er, taking out everything that belongs here in the, in the um, office and putting it there. And then I'm going to pick this tote up. Yes, I'm not going to go through it right now because it's going to take more than 15 minutes. And then underneath it is something that needs to go to the craft cottage next door, which is going right here. I have, a, I have a few boxes right here that go to the craft cottage. Now I'm able to get to my trash can um, and dump it because, y'all, well, this trash can is over, ah, it's overflowing. It's overflowing, see? So um, I'm able to get that dumped into the big trash. So really, I do have this space right here that has been cleaned out. Excuse my cup, it's been there. Oh look, it's 15 minutes. We have made it to 15 minutes. How do I turn this off? Okay, so we'll turn that off. Um, so that's my lipedema story. Um, almost got it. I mean, I do, I have a floor. I, have a floor. I can make it all the way to the, to the closet. Um, I'm gonna stop there today. I'm going to stop there because you, I have discovered that with lipedema, the more I push myself, the harder it is for me the next day. Um, and I just encourage you, if you feel like you have something, go down the rabbit hole, go down the research hole, um, and and talk to people. Because if, if again, if it wasn't for Allison Jacobs, who was talking about it on TikTok, I think it was, it was, if it wasn't for her, I would still be in the unknown and I would still be as miserable as I was last summer because I, I was miserable, physically miserable. Um, I'm slowly gaining my um, energy back and I feel so much better. So, so, so much better. So anyway, I know 15 minutes is up and all I'm going to do now is just dump the trash into the black trash, big trash bag here. And I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'm going to take these out to the pile that goes to the craft cottage. Um, I'm going to go to, I have a whole set of uh, boxes that go over there and I'm trying not to overwhelm myself um and i'll put them in the cart and take them all at one time so uh, i'm going to take these boxes that are right here out there to do that and that's it i have spent 15 minutes talking to you which i absolutely love and um i've got this space cleaned up i can now reach the uh i've unearthed the um heat press that's right here um, I'm going to come back in a day or two. I've got to redo. I've got to do this. I need to do my closet. And then there's a few little things over here. And then, then my office will be cleaned. All the stuff that doesn't belong in here will be out. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this bathroom stuff to the bathroom. So whenever I tackle that, um, that'll be in there to do that. So y'all have an absolutely blessed day. And I will see you on episode five.